Hi, I'm James with WTB and I want to talk to you about our updated saddle line. In 2019, we made a whole bunch of changes to our time-tested saddles, so here's a quick run-through of everything you need to know. First up, let's talk about what we've changed in the looks department. We've taken the feedback from you guys we've had over the years and we've used it to revamp and revitalize the graphics on every single saddle in the range. You wanted sleek and stealthy new graphics that'll let you choose any saddle at any price point and be confident it'll look good on any bike? That's exactly what we've done. Okay, now we're gonna look at our saddle covers. Every single saddle in the range from our entry level options right through to our top spec carbon models come with the same smooth but grippy microfiber cover. We wanted to make sure the saddles have a consistent surface feel throughout the entire line. So with this great new reach compliant microfiber cover, we've achieved exactly that. We've also added extra protection against nicks and scuffs by adding our ABR corners to every saddle in the line. Next up, saddle shells. We use two different types of shells for our updated saddle lines, flex tune shells and soft shell. The words shell and base are used interchangeably to talk about the supportive platform the rails attach to and support the foam. The only saddle in our range that currently uses the soft shell is the speed model. Everything else uses a flex tune shell. The soft shell is a shock absorbent dual compound saddle base designed to minimize trail vibration while providing a rigid platform for efficient pedaling. Our flex tune shell uses polypropylene to provide an exceptional mix of comfortable flex and firm efficiency. Flex that moves with the rocking of your hips and firmness that ensures every watt you produce is put directly into the pedals. Now let's look at the types of padding we use in our saddles and there are two main components to talk about. We offer three different thicknesses of padding in our saddle range, thin, medium and thick. Which option is best for you will always come down to personal preference but we do have guidelines to help you choose which thickness of padding will cater to your discipline the best. Thinner padding saddles tend to be sleeker and lighter, so they're a bit more popular with cross-country and drop-bar disciplines. They're also pretty popular amongst racers because of their weight saving. Counter to what most people think, thinner padding saddles tend to be a little bit more comfortable on longer rides because the padding supports your sit bones rather than let your sit bones sit, sink down into the padding, putting unwanted pressure on soft tissue. Thicker padding will provide that memory foam squishiness that some riders desire in a saddle, but inevitably that will come with a bit of a weight penalty. Saddles with thick padding are often most enjoyed by those who rarely ride longer than two hours. Saddles with medium padding thickness strike a balance between the two and they're often a safe bet for mountain bikers or gravel riders who are unsure which padding to choose. Then we're onto the padding levels themselves. Found on our steel level saddles, the DNAX polyurethane padding is soft to the touch, lightweight and is a great option for anyone experiencing sore contact points on their saddle. This padding is ideal for shorter rides. Our HLX padding is 30% more shock absorbent than polyurethane and is actually plusher than our DNA padding. It's a great option for those who prioritise squishiness over weight saving and this option is used on our chrome alloy saddles with a thin level of padding thickness. The HLX Plus gel padding is identical to our HLX padding with the added comfort of strategically placed gel inserts in the areas where sit bones contact the saddle. The gel inserts provide additional support to prevent the pinching of soft tissues while also cradling the sit bones in a comfortable position on the saddle. This padding option is used on all of our chromoly saddles with medium or thick padding options. Our DNA padding is the premium padding used on all of our titanium and carbon level saddles. It features super light polyurethane to provide a dense padding that dramatically reduces saddle weight and provides our ultimate level of support. Our DNA padding holds its shape incredibly well over longer rides and throughout the lifetime of the saddle, providing unbeatable comfort and durability for years to come. The width of our saddles is one thing that hasn't changed with the revamp because the width of your sit bones hasn't either. The tried and tested shapes are still available in the tried and tested sizes. We're just making them easier to work with. For example, let's take the SL8. What was once known as 127, 142 and 150 millimeters is now known as narrow, medium and wide. It's as simple as that. Choosing the correct width saddle for you is still as important as ever. So that's why we've developed our fit right system over on WTB.com. Once you've worked out what saddle shape, size and padding level is best for you, the last thing you need to do is look at what price point you wanna go for. For that, we're gonna look at the rails. During the revamp, we also simplified the way you can identify where each model sits within the range. 
It's now the real material that gives name to the level and price point of each saddle option. So here's a quick look at the levels and how you can identify them. Our entry level saddles utilize strong and reliable steel rails to provide lasting comfort and durability at an affordable price. The steel rail saddles will have the entire rail painted in a gloss black with no bare metal showing at all. Increased strength and less weight make chromoloy steel a noticeable upgrade over traditional steel rails. The chromoloy level saddles have the same gloss black paint as the steel level saddles, but the clamping section of the rails is left unpainted. The material level is also marked on the rails in two locations. Almost as light as carbon, titanium rails are able to flex without losing its structural integrity. This makes it a great material for saddle rails. The tie level saddles will have a matte black paint on the rails this time, but again, the clamping section is left unpainted to reveal that raw titanium finish. The rail material is also marked in two locations just here. Carbon rails offer our top tier performance and the ultimate weight saving for those gram conscious riders. These rails are designed to provide optimal support at a minimal weight. You won't find any paint hiding the carbon finish, but just like the chromoloy and titanium level saddles, the material it's made from is marked on the saddle just here. Some other features you may find on a WTB saddle are the love channel, comfort zone and the whale tail. The comfort zone refers to the small windows that are cut out away from the shell underneath the saddle, while the love channel is this part running along the top of the saddle just here. Both of these features were developed to allow a little more shell flex and a little more pressure alleviation where you need it most. The whale tail is what we call it when we add the upward sweep towards the rear of the saddle. It's only found on select WTB saddles and it's easily visible on this vault. The whale tail provides riders something to push back against while climbing to find that extra little bit of leverage and stability. It's also a great feature for an e-bike saddle as you tend to climb much steeper hills while sat down and the whale tail stops you sliding back on the saddle while you're going up those steep grades. Thanks for taking the time to check out our saddle video. We hope it was helpful and don't forget to subscribe to the WTB YouTube account for more informational and interesting videos.